Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Monster Ball Suicidal Gunslinger. Let's go! Gotta make sure we get through this door without being scared. <laughs> you ain't scaring me. No jump scares for me. I say not today. Not ever. Let's see, what can we talk about today? Huh. I still haven't finished my website. Actually, I have made some, some decent progress on it, honestly. Yeah, you get dusted. I'm pulling this lever. Burn! Ha ha ha! I made some progress on my website. I put up a portfolio section. Go over to yamajack.com, check out my little portfolio section. I think it looks okay. But you know, I was editing it live on the server. And uh, I forgot to back up all of the stuff that I changed when I uh, when I finished. Because I was just, I was making a few changes. And then I got a little carried away and I made a lot of changes. Um, just on the live copy of the, the server, right? And I forgot to back it up to my local copy to like replace that. And so that when I was actually working on my website again and I was working with the local copy I wouldn't like overwrite the, um, the online like live copy so uh, I went to um, to edit the uh, I, I forgot to, I forgot to back it up to the local copy so when I ended up editing the local copy to add in um, both of my accounts to the RS Adventurers log. So now if you go to yamachak.com, both of my accounts will be there with like labels and the dates are sorted and all that kind of stuff. It's nice and nice and beautiful. Um, if you go there, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, but when I did that, I uploaded it all back to the server. I put up the CSS, the JavaScript, and it overrode all the changes that I made. I didn't have a backup because I'm not on GitHub with it yet. And uh, I was like, ah, crap. Really sucks, man. Really, really sucks. Holy! What on earth? What on earth was that? <laughs> that was too many husks! This is my gun. This is my gun now. I own this gun. So I had, to, I had to go and like redo all those changes that I made. It wasn't too bad. It took me like... I mean, it was probably three hours of work that I lost. But to go and like redo it all was probably only about 40 minutes or so. But it was still just... Like it hurts, man. When you make a mistake like that, it just... Even if you don't lose much, it's just such a... You feel so defeated. And like deflated you know like it's just even if you didn't lose much even if it was rather inconsequential in the end you know which it was I lost like three hours work I had to spend an extra like four 40 minutes or so getting stuff back like ultimately it wasn't that bad um, but it's just you feel like you lost, right? Like you just, you feel like... Just incompetent. You know, it isn't even about the, the work that you lost, but just that you made that kind of a mistake. That you would have done that. You know, it's just... That feeling of, of uh, inadequacy. Incompetency, you know? That's the part that really feels bad about it, in my opinion, anyway. It's not so much the loss of the work, or the time that you have to spend getting all back, we're gonna die, this is not okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Made one bad decision. Which was, uh... Going inside, I think. Yeah. 
Gosh darn it. Dang flabby. That's not what I wanted to have happen. We're gonna head on over to Monster Ball again and we're gonna do that again. So this is episode 11. This one should be uh, episode 153. I don't know, there are uh, three videos to record after this. It's insane! We are over 150 episodes. And I don't know if I talked about it, but I've been thinking about KF2 a lot less. Right, like, it's no longer... I'm still having fun. Like, make, make no mistake, I am still having a blast playing and recording KF2. This is still by far one of the most fulfilling experiences of my life. Okay? Just... Definitely. Um, it's been it's been an absolute blast, but I am playing it way way less now. I'm not even thinking about it until like a couple of days ago, and I'm like, oh yeah, I have to go and record like the next week of videos. And it's 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 no longer. I would say that for me, Killing Floor Two is no longer a hobby, right? Like I'm still I'm having fun, but I'm no longer doing it to have fun. You know, you know what I mean? It's a, it's, it's a bit of a shift in, in how I'm viewing Killing Floor 2. Because it used to be that Killing Floor 2 was fun, and I played it because it was fun. Whereas now, I play it because I have to. I'm not playing it right now because I want to. Right? I do want to, but that's not my motivation for playing it. Like, if I didn't want to, I would still be recording it because that's not my motivation for for playing it but i do want to so it ends up working out really well um <laughs> because it it's kind of win-win right but anyway it's uh, it's interesting to me because i wouldn't be touching killing floor 2 at all right now i'd be playing exclusively runescape 3 if it weren't for the fact that i have to record right now and even even as i talk I'm still in the back of my mind. I'm still like, yeah, but I would really like to go play some KF or to go play some RuneScape right now. Like that's that's what I want to be doing right now. Um, and it's not what I'm doing because I have to record this. It's an obligation. Um, so that's what I mean when I say that it's no longer a hobby of mine. I mean, it is a hobby because I'm not doing it professionally. But like, it's it's past the point of the motivation is different. And it's, it's hard for me to describe what that is exactly and, and what that means and like... But I'm not doing this for fun anymore. You know what I mean? It, it, I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm doing this out of an obligation and I'm not having fun and I have to do this and I loathe the, the experience. Because I don't. I'm having fun. And it's good. Um, I'm just saying that... Uh, you know, I guess... When I was... Uh, Watching people before, uh, you know, YouTubers previously, I would be like, wow, how do you even keep playing it for that long? And they'd be like, well, you know, once once it's your job, like, it's it's easier to motivate yourself to do it, right? Like, like you know, you're, you'd still have fun. You know, it's a math one of uh, Path of Exile says this quite often. You know, people are like, how do you keep playing throughout the entire league and, and keep trying new things and having fun and oh my good god how do you keep trying these new things and continuing to have fun with path of exile just playing path of exile every day for the entire league and he's like well it's his job so it's just it's easier to motivate himself to, to go and do that um and that kind of that kind of clicks for me now right like before, I wasn't able to really recognize how much that would make a difference. Whereas now I can, because I'm doing this and it's no longer something that I'm doing for fun. I'm doing it because I have to, because it's an obligation, I've committed to it. Um, I'm not doing it for fun, I'm not doing it because I want to, I'm not doing it because it's it's the game that I want to be playing and I'd be playing it anyway and I'm having fun with it like they, none of that is the reason why I'm playing it right now I'm playing it because I have to because I have to record it for the video I have to make entertaining content and record and, and upload the videos make the thumbnails do all this kind of stuff but it's not it's not for fun anymore it's it stopped being something that I do just because I want to and it's it started to be something that and this has been a slow change you know um, it has been it's been a slow change 
you know, for the past few weeks even, I would say it's slowly been moving towards I do it less for fun and more out of obligation. But as of this week, it's it's no longer something that I'm doing for fun. Like I would straight up not be playing this game if it weren't for the fact that I have to record it. Or if, you know, somebody were to be like, hey, you want to play some KF2? I'd be like, heck yeah. Because I still enjoy it, right? But that's the thing is, um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to, hard, hard to put into words exactly what it feels like, but just seeing it as an obligation now, it's, to me, it gives me a lot of confidence in being able to continue it because I don't think I'll ever not have fun playing Killing Floor 2. Like, I enjoy the game a lot. It's extremely satisfying. I could probably play this game for thousands of hours and still be having fun by the end of it. You know, it's just a, it's just a fun game. So, to me, knowing that I'm able to do this, despite not wanting to, if that makes sense, just feels really good because um, it gives me confidence to be able to continue this for, for going forward because that's the main problem that I have is I lose interest in it. I would still find it fun to do it, I just lose interest, I'm not motivated to do it anymore by that, right? Like, Killing Floor 2 has never not been fun for me. Um, but there are times where I no longer have any motivation to play it, and so I don't get to have that fun. Like, my motivation's gone. I don't want to play it anymore. It's not that I want to not play it, but I just don't want to play it anymore, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if that makes sense, but... Don't stand still, you fool. Um, so anyway, seeing it so clearly that uh, my motivation is no longer that I want to, but that I have to for the YouTube, just feels really good because it shows that I'll be able to continue it for a long time. And that's nice. And if I'm ever not having fun with it, I'll probably replace it with a new series. But I can't honestly see that happening. So this is probably here to stay for for like a long time and I've, I've said that before where like I can see myself continuing this for like a thousand episodes or something like that but for the first time since I started recording this it genuinely feels like not only that I could like not only that I could continue it until a thousand but that I will you know what I mean like that difference is uh is really 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 nice to see because I enjoy this a lot, and um, my motivation for doing this is wanting to do this. Not so much play KF2, but wanting to make these videos. And uh, that difference, it just it feels really good, is, uh, is the moral of the story. This video is supposed to be over by now, so I'm really, I'm not sure where to go from here. What else to talk about? But, it's, uh, squeak, squeak, I should get a new chair. It's been, uh, it's definitely been interesting seeing the, the how the motivations change over time while I, while I do this. And it gives me hope for, for other series as well, because that's the one thing that has got me in the past with, uh, with YouTube. When I, whenever I tried it, is I just, I lost the motivation to do it. You know? Like, I'd, I'd enjoy it to a certain extent, anyway. I just, I wouldn't have the motivation to do it anymore, because... Not that I want to not do it, but I want to do other things more. So I just, I don't do the YouTube thing. I don't do the editing or the recording or whatever. Um, and since, like, it's an obligation now, sort of. Like, I have to do it. It's not my job, but, like, I treat it like a job at this point. Um, it gives me hope to be able to make other series work that might involve more time. To be able to dedicate the time to it motivate myself to do that more than just as a, as a passing interest. Um, because I've been doing it for so long, it's like habitual at this point, right? Like, it's, it's what I do on Mondays. I record. It's just... That's what I, that's what I do. I record on Mondays. On Monday, I'm recording. It's just it's, it's how it goes. It's like when I go to sleep, I brush my teeth. When I wake up, I brush my teeth. I mean, it's just... It's as easy as that. And, um, so it's nice. 
I look forward to being able to make other series as well. I've never been able to do that. I've never had this feeling of, of commitment and obligation like this for, for something that wasn't a job. You know, if this were my job, this would be a fantastic job. Um, but if it were my job, like, yeah, I, I could totally see myself committing the time to it. And uh, it, just, just, it just feels good for, for the future prospects, you know? Because I really, once I hit 100 episodes, my goal was really 1,000 episodes. And I've said that I'd make it. And I, I, you know, I said, you know, there's no chance I won't make it. But honestly, there kind of was. Um, there's always the chance that I'd lose the motivation for it. Because my motivation until now, until today, my motivation was still somewhat affected by my desire to play Killing Floor 2. Right? My motivation to record it was, and like upload it and make the thumbnails and all that was my motiva was, was motivated exclusively by my desire to record it, obviously. like, But... To record Killing Floor 2 over, like, another game that I'd be playing. Like, starting a new series or something like that. Um, that was motivated largely because I wanted to play Killing Floor 2. Uh, whereas today, I don't want to play Killing Floor 2 at all. And, um, I'm still playing it. I'm still having a good time. And that just, uh, yeah. It's it's a big improvement to my my personal just abilities and and and, and accomplishments. It's, it's an accomplishment to me, and I like it. I like it quite a lot. Hello. So, I don't know. I'll be able to make other series. I might. I want to start trying to make something that is edited. I want to start doing something that is edited. And I'm not sure what. Really, what I want to do is I want to figure out how the heck I can get OBS to record to a different directory based on the game that I'm playing. That's what I really want. Because at the moment, I have to manually switch it whenever I'm recording other games. Uh, or other stuff, or alternatively just go into the Killing Floor 2 thing and like take it out of there, which I don't really like having to do because I like the Killing Floor 2 thing only being Killing Floor 2 videos, you know? But I want to figure out a way to get that to, to happen. I might make like an, a hotkey or something like that to, to switch profiles or something. I don't know. I have a profile set up for, uh, for RuneScape 3 for Killing Floor 2 for recording just generic stuff, but the profiles don't change as much as I would like for them to, you know? Like, a lot of the stuff is still the same. Like, if I change the profile, the recording directory is still the same. So, like... feels kind of useless to change the thing, since that's the main reason I want to use it. But... Who knows? Let's we'll find out how it works. This, this run's going much better. Those past two were just... Abominable. I think I heard a click. Yeah, I did. I heard that click. It was real subtle, but it was there. That click was there. I heard it. She's right next to us right now. Uh, and that scares me. I'm going to allow her to do some damage to me because I'm confident that I can take her out very, very quickly on suicidal. Because it's only suicidal, you know? She ain't that hard. I'm not going to try and do the same thing I did last time where uh, I ignore the Edars because that, that didn't work. It really did not work, but ultimately, she's still a pretty easy fight. <laughs> so that went way better than the last two. Who knows what happened in those two? I just got, I got tilted or something. I don't know. I had to ramble a lot more than I wanted to about that topic because I didn't have enough time to make up another topic. I mean, come on. It takes it takes time. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.